All right, there's the bike. It's a uh, it's 2004 Kona Dog Deluxe. It's uh, got 100 volts, 20 amp hours of the 4S hard case packs from Hobby King uh, LiPo. It's got an 18 FET controller. Right now it's at uh, 8200, I think, as far as the amps. Uh, the cycle line only shows about peaks of about 110 amps. It's the new uh, Crystallite from the group by. This one's the speed winding, the 5403. It's got a single speed cassette in here. And the shims that came with the group by, I had to bring to a lathe and have 150 thousandths removed. Otherwise, it forced my dropouts way past 135 millimeters, which is just a big no-no for aluminum. Uh, obviously, the uh, 75 amp fittings. I mean, that's pretty much uh, pretty much it. Gonna go see how fast you can go. Never tried before. So put this on trip commuter. Set up, reset, trip data. Reset. Trip. Everything zeroed out. Zero miles per hour. Zero miles per hour. The hub's really quiet. Might even be quieter than my 5304. Alright, here we go. So, GPS says I hit 58.7, and Cycle Analyst is reading 58.8, so 58.8, 58.7, I think that's pretty safe. Um, what I'm going to do now is just reset everything again and head back. This way, if I'm in a wind or it's an uphill, I should be able to just get an average. I'm not going to reset the cycle analysts because I need to know what I've consumed, but uh, we know they're accurate. So, just got to check and make sure nothing's. See my axles, my axles spun back a little bit. But that's what you get for not running a dropout at 10 kilowatts. It's really not smart, not advised, but I'm not hammering the throttle until I'm at higher speeds.
All right, so the way back we saw 58.2 miles per hour. Obviously, uh, we were at 99 volts the first run. We were about 96 volts the second run. So um, I think it's pretty safe to say that the 5303, at least with my setup, with my weight and everything, max speed is, uh, I'd say, about 58 miles per hour. Okie doke.